If it seems like there's been a lot of news around high-tech trucks lately, well, there's a good reason, and we have even more for you today. It's Friday, March 9th, and after both Uber and Tesla announced their techno trucks were already on duty, even if just in limited capacities, tech giant Alphabet slash Google has now jumped into the fray as well with their own self-driving trucks. That's right, the search giant's Waymo division is ready to roll out some big rigs. And while the Waymo semis aren't electrically powered like the sleek Tesla trucks, they are self-driving like the Uber machines, and eventually the Tesla trucks, which have that autopilot tech built in, of course. However, Waymo says the trucks will have humans keeping the driver's seat warm, at least, as they ferry shipments of technical parts to Google data centers near the Atlanta area. Waymo's convoy of self-driving semis is set to hit the highway next week. Some gaming news now. Popular game Fortnite Battle Royale has been confined to consoles and PCs since forever. But good news, a version for mobile devices is on the way. That's the word from Fortnite creator Epic Games, which broke the news late last night by saying a port of the game will be available for iOS devices at first, with Android fans getting their own version a short time later. There's a special event from Epic planned for next week that will include more details, but for now, we know you'll need at least the tiny iPhone SE or bigger 6S to get started, and it'll need to be rocking iOS 11 in order to make the grade to play. Best of all, you'll be able to take on other players cross-platform, which will include the PS4, PC gamers, Mac folks, and in time, Android OS users. Got an Xbox One? Well, for you, it's complicated. Get all the details at the link. Good news, Star Wars fans. Super Star Wars fanboy and sometimes Iron Man movie director Jon Favreau is going to head up a new live-action Star Wars series for Disney's upcoming streaming service. And really, could there be anyone more fit for that job? Favreau is truly a longtime resident of the faraway galaxy, having voiced characters for the Clone Wars animated series and with his current involvement in the upcoming Solo movie. Disney didn't say what the series will be called or when exactly it's going to debut. Heck, the streaming service isn't even up and running yet. But senior Jedi Kathleen Kennedy says they're excited at the prospects, as are we. Favreau helmed both the first and second Iron Man movies and also worked as an executive producer on the Avengers films. So we're pretty sure he has what it takes to make a successful Star Wars series. He also put together the hit live action version of Jungle Book and is currently doing the same for The Lion King due out next year. Think he'll write himself into a few scenes of the Star Wars series? We'd bet on it. We'll keep you updated as we know more about the series. And hey, be sure to check out digitaltrends.com for all the rest of the day's news and catch our live entertainment podcast Between the Streams at 2 p.m. Pacific today, where we'll be talking more about the Star Wars series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.